Hi YouTubers and welcome back to the final piece of the Sustainable Energy channel. If you've watched my earlier videos you'll see migration from hybrid hybrid inverters to uh, a Victron solution um, and upgrading my solar panels so that I have, will have enough surplus power to charge my EV. So I've finally been able to uh, purchase a used uh, electric vehicle. Um, it's about six years old and uh, together with uh, my Zappi um, My Energy charger, um, this is a vehicle charger that's optimized for charging from solar, I now am able to charge my household and my electric vehicle uh, for my own requirements. So I just want to quickly take you through how the installation has changed, how I've added the EV charger, um, how I'm getting on with my uh, new BMW i3 EV, um, a six-year-old EV with 120 kilometers of, of range. Uh, what's that, about 65 miles, I think. Um, and how by charging it from home on a daily basis, um, it seems to work pretty well. So I just want to talk a little bit about uh, why I chose this particular EV charger. This um, Zappi charger is made by um, My Energy, a UK company, and uh, I was recently at um, one of the UK uh, expos, um, the Fully Charged Expo in Farnborough, and I, I met uh, representatives of uh, My Energy and uh, obtained one of their devices um, and hope to distribute their devices here in, in South Africa in the future. So this particular device is unique in that it has two CT clamps one uh, measuring the power coming from the grid and the other measuring the power coming from the inverter, the surplus solar power. And by configuring this device you're able to set it up so that all surplus solar power is diverted to the EV charger and into the EV. And that makes uh, merging sustainable and it helps to complement the uh, complete circle of, uh, of energy in terms of generation, storage and usage for um, transport. So this is my relatively new, recently acquired uh, BMW i3 uh, 2005 uh, model. Um, they are uh, quite expensive vehicles, new, but secondhand they, they tend to be uh, quite reasonably priced, especially this being the first model with very limited range. Um, as I said, 120 odd kilometers, probably 65 odd miles. But if you use it as a second vehicle uh, and you live in a city, it's absolutely ideal and a beautiful car to drive. So, um, you simply open the charger flap and take the My Energy Zappi um, Type 2 charger, uh, connect in the device, and automatically um, it starts uh, to identify the EV. Um, I've programmed it uh, for eco mode, and the vehicle will start charging automatically from Super Solar. Um, the car will display the amount of time that it will take, and that will obviously vary according to your weather conditions. But through careful planning, you can charge your EV if you have sufficient solar panels. Um, and in the short time that I've had this vehicle, I've saved literally uh, thousands of, of rands, um, hundreds of dollars of fuel um, by charging it and, and planning my journeys uh, quite carefully. We fortunately have a second vehicle um, which we can do longer distances in, but we try and use this vehicle as much as possible. And in fact, it's such a fun vehicle to drive that uh, uh, this is the first choice uh, of car. So again, just to recap, um, I re-programmed uh, my, or redid my distribution board. Um, I fitted an energy meter, ET112 uh, um, Victron uh, compatible uh, energy meter. The energy meter diverts uh, surplus solar power into my non-critical devices. So any loads, like an EV charger that I have, pool pump, uh, even microwave uh, in the kitchen, Will, will be diverted, um, saving me uh, total total energy, and um, that's all done through uh, setting up the Victron system, which um, can quite easily dynamically balance those those loads. So that's the the real advantage over uh, the cheaper hybrid inverters. There's a lot of intelligence built in, and uh, once it's set up correctly, um, it works in an automated manner. I have a five kVA lithium um, phosphate uh, battery as well and that is used in a self-consumption mode. In other words, I charge it during the day and use it to offset my uh, critical loads in the evening and at night. So basically, uh, fridge, internet connection, security, uh, draw about 250 watts, and with a 5 kVA inverter, I'm able to run through that 12-hour cycle with using absolutely minimal grid power. 
um, and then in the morning uh, it recharges again from solar. Obviously living here in Cape Town we have an abundance of solar energy so we're very fortunate uh, of the 15 panels that I have, 15 330 watt panels, I have more than enough energy to run my entire house, charge my uh, battery and during the morning I charge uh, my EV. Of course if it's cloudy I can just use the grid to charge the EV and it still works out considerably cheaper than an ICE car.